Hi, I'm Alex, and as you know, I think you know already, I make these saxophones out of stainless steel, and I play the saxophones. And this video now will be all about, yes, sir, that's my baby. Very known song. We will try to learn this easy song. Uh, thanks to that, you know the song. So we can use these two papers as we did in previous video for another song. And these paper, papers will tell us exactly where is the position of our fingers for each tone we are going to play. So let's hear the song first. It's really simple. It goes like this. <laughs> Again, one more time, the same, and then... And so, you know the song. Uh, maybe, if you don't know, but I'm sure you also know this, uh, you can find these two papers and download them if you visit our website, of course, and free. So, let's start from the beginning, but we will not go whole, whole thing, whole song, just one tone or two to remind you how is the principle, how we are going to find where is the position of our fingers for each tone. First tone here is G. We are going on fingering chart trying to find tone G. Tone G is here. And here we can see how to play it. What fingers to use. Normal position, our fingers, if we close all holes, is like this. Tone G has one, two, three, four. Four open holes, like this. So we hold sax and we play only these three holes closed. This is first word in the song, yes. Next word is sir. Yes, sir. Next word, sir, is tone A. Let's find tone A. Here it is. Here it is. Tone A has how many open holes? One, two, three, four, five open holes and only two holes closed. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold your sax and blow. So, we found first two tones. And the next, and the next. This is the way how we do, how we can do all song. But what I want to tell you now, we have something different. If you look forward, we will find the note which has in front one, one mark like a double cross. If we go more, we will find a note which has similar thing but not double cross, like small b. What is that? Oh yeah, I, I jumped here, but we have one here also. So what is this? This tone should be normal d, like here, where? Here, d, but it has this cross. It's not anymore D, it's D, D sharp, we say. This tone is not a basic, natural tone D from our uh, basic scale. It's D sharp, it's half tone higher, half tone higher than normal, let's say, normal tone D. So if you, sh if you see a sharp mark, you try to find out how to play half tone, higher tone than D is. We can find it here. D sharp. D sharp is here. All right, so what we have? One open hole and second 
halfway open hole. How to do that? It's actually, it's easy. Let's play first, not play, close all holes, then open one as we have here, as we have here, and then we have, and then we have to open this hole just halfway. But I want to tell you, if you open this hole halfway and that way, people usually do this immediately, but this is wrong. This is very hard, very hard way, and we cannot play. Simply, uh, we have to do something completely different. We have to open this half hole in that way. And listen, we have D, and D sharp is if we little open this hole. This is the best how to play these half tones. Straight fingers, relaxed fingers, and, and try to listen your sound to be in tune. This is the only way how we can learn to play these half tones. Sometimes people call them chromatic tones. And we have another one. Here we have D sharp, here we have G sharp. Same way, G is here, G sharp is here, but watch this, G sharp we can produce exactly on the same way like D sharp, this is D, D sharp is D, D sharp is this, G is this, G sharp is this, G sharp, but where is this fingering here? G sharp, we have completely different fingering. Yes, this is because you can produce this tone, this chromatic tone, in two ways. One way is like previous, D sharp, G sharp that way, half open hole, but this another way is better because it's very clean, it, the pitch is, oops, is exactly G sharp. Here we never know, that way we never know, we are not sure, is it really halfway or more or less. If we do this, like in fingering, we have, we have to, to do what? We have to close first all holes, open the uh, last or first from the bottom, open this hole, and then open what hole? This. We have this situation, and we blow G sharp. This is previous way. Way. This is the best way. It's a little bit complicated, but if you want to be sure it's G sharp, you do this better. Okay, this is two ways how to produce this, this chromatic tone. And now we have the last one, same system. We have here tone E, and we have here tone E flat. Tone E is this, tone E flat is this. Exactly the same like D sharp. Where is D sharp? A, B, C, D, D sharp, you see here, and this half open hole, and E flat, here is E flat, E flat, this is same tone. So this D sharp and E flat are actually same tone. So next time, more about that, we are talking already about uh, music theory, uh, we want to just play Yes Sir, That's My Baby. <laughs>